started singing at a young age. People would be in amazement how a baby six months old was talking. And and, um, and then time he got like four years old, he started hitting on pots. And by the time he was five, she started playing in the church because I would let him play because I seen the music ability. I didn't worry about how loud, you know, he was. He got real good at 11 years old. He had never had a lesson, but he learned to read music and he just was so uh, gifted and a talented young man at a young age. That's what he wanted to do and that's what he did. He kept on till he succeeded and he's going to even do even greater. And I'm really, 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 really proud of that young man. All right, so how did the song work that, how did that come about and how did the collaboration come together with you all? Uh, well, I did the record um, work that I did that in my living room. Uh, and I was staying over on the west side, Freeland, actually. I think about the next day or so, I sent it to uh, Sino, see what he thought about it. He didn't hesitate, man. He just uh, was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna get on it, whatever, let's do it. So we rocked out, you know what I'm saying? Well, when I, when I initially heard it, off rip, I was gonna get on it just because it was Dre Butters, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? I actually did my verse on the spot and when it finally came together and I got the groove of it, I was like, damn, this record, incredible for sure. Yeah, definitely. A lot of girls ask me, like, is that you singing? They don't even know. They can find it uh, on World Star, YouTube, uh, find it on the DJ BJ website, mm -hmm. DJ BJ, uh, 3525.com. It's on iTunes too. Most mm -hmm. definitely make sure everybody download that. Basically, um, I got into music uh, when I was a kid, um, playing at church and stuff, man. I um, played drums, keyboard, bass guitar. That's how I got started doing music, but as far as uh, production, I, um, I got into it. My man's uh, Ty Hines, who I actually met at church, he was a producer. I really got off into it by myself when I was 18, probably about 18, 19, so I'm 28 now. Sean at the time before he really got out, you know what I'm saying, really got on or whatever, uh, his name is B-Right, and uh, it was about two years ago, he asked me to work on this track with him for Big Sean called 100 Keys, uh, which is now out, uh, 100 Keys featuring um, Rick Ross and Pusher T. Uh, me and him did that track together, me and him and my other cousin, uh, Deuce, also with Right Tracks. And that kind of motivated me to get to take it a step further. You know what I'm saying? So took it a step further and just started producing for a whole bunch of cats in the city, man. Uh, giving music and 
uh, giving music away, just giving tracks out here, getting people to know who I am. And then um, I just I just kept growing because I did it so much at home. I worked every day, all day. I worked at home, work on building my sound catalog, work on you know getting uh, different programs I can excel in, and um, it just took off, man. Well, I have a. Um, I, I guess I would call it a universal sound. Uh, I do everything. I mean, everything from hard, straight, hardcore gangster rap to pop music or to country, even folk. I'm dropping my uh, my first my first solo album, man, in the year 2014, and to me, it's been coming out uh, absolutely great. Um, the title song is called Right On Time and it's a very sentimental song to me because it's a part of peace of my life. My manager, Kano Connected, he's really uh, encouragement, a big help. Always keep the faith, man. Faith is the is the uh, the root of success. Um, even though I'm not exactly where I plan on being, I know that faith has brought me thus far. Because eventually, it's gonna pay off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 